just opened the door and it is gorgeous in here. So this room is filled with memorabilia from his stage career. And I think we can see possibly, yes, that this is William S. Hart as Patrick Henry. Couple of shots of magazine pictures of William S. Hart. Western guy. This is really cool. This looks like it's William S. Hart and his uh, horse uh, Fritz, I believe the name is. <laughs> Cristodoro. Okay. Wow. So now we know who the artist is who, who made this and he worked for Walt Disney. And I think he did an excellent job. Outside of Billings, Montana. Yes. In a park. New Zealand. Wow. <laughs> so that's where it's life size. But this is a little bit more miniature. portrait of William S. Hart with his horse Fritz was painted by James Montgomery Flagg back in 1924. It's beautiful. Uh, well, Rogers, this is where they would come. And what is very interesting is when Mr. Hart lived here, the bushes weren't here. And he had lots of horses around the ranch, mm. and you'd be sitting here having dinner, and you might have a horse or two looking in the window. That's great. <laughs> what the kitchen would look like during the 1920s. And um, here's an ice box. And here is the carpet sweeper. Oh, yes. Uh, I used to have not, not a wooden one like right. that. Right, uh -huh. remember the washboard? Yes, yes, remember. Like a lot of the fixtures are still um, original to back in the 1920s. Does anybody know what that was for? House, and there was a little cabin down there. But I will show you something as we go down the other, the intercom. This is so cool. We're inside of William S. Hart's kitchen, and there's so many unique little artifacts from like the 1920s and 30s. Look at this phone. Look at this old phone. This is amazing. I love that. I love the old ice box here with the uh, old-fashioned ice container. 
But what about the ice, the other ice box? I the, mean, this one looks older than yeah, the Yeah, this one. is an older one. And uh, the, the docent guy uh, was saying that this is what he actually preferred to use. He liked the old, oh, really? he liked okay. the old one, just, you know, put it in the <laughs> ice box. But yeah, he looks like he had a refrigerator or two over there. This is the staircase up to the second level. There's some beautiful artwork here. There he is with the gun. This is a gorgeous room. This is a carving into a log, just done with a knife. But the mm -hmm. detail is just fantastic. William S. Hart really loved collecting great, what I think is great Western art. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the phone room. Here we go. I'm not sure if you can see it, I but think there's names should be on there. Right? Yeah, there's like a directory here. Let me see if I can... I think it's number 20 or 21. That's a directory for the phone, for Newhall. And he's on there somewhere. William S. Hart. <laughs> This is, used to be William S. Hart's bedroom, but then it became the bedroom for his dogs, which got to be too huge for him to sleep with. <laughs> Hart's um, horse was a gelding. It was a pinto. 
And William S. Hart was pretty tall. He was over six feet tall. Mm -hmm. And his Pinto was not that big a horse. So <laughs> I'm not sure um, how he was able to film with the horse, but I, I kind of heard from the docent that mm -hmm. He actually had to cheat his shots a little bit to make it look like the horse was bigger than it actually oh. was. But what a beautiful horse. And yep. you could tell how much he really loved the horse. Mm -hmm.